Hey everybody, this is Nathan here with Nathan Gilmer Photography. I want to show you a quick tip that's probably only going to be relevant for a week or two, but uh, maybe it will help you out uh, for right now. Um, I just bought the Fuji X-T1 Friday, and then that Monday, uh, Visual Supply Company came out with their fifth film pack, uh, Visco Film 05. And I really wanted to use it, and I was bummed out that I couldn't because as of right now, Lightroom does not support Fuji X-T1 RAW files. I know I could do it with JPEGs, but I really just wasn't very happy with the way that looked. Um, they just kind of ended up looking kind of cheesy, like Instagram filters almost. Which isn't Visco's fault, it's just the way JPEGs work. There's just not a lot of latitude there. So I was actually able to find a workaround. Um, because right now, even though Lightroom doesn't support uh, X-T1 RAW files, there is a release candidate for uh, Camera Raw for Photoshop that does. Um, so if you go to labs.adobe.com, and open up a uh, camera raw eight or I'm sorry go down here and you find where it says Photoshop camera raw 8.4 just go ahead and download that and install it and um, and then then you should be able to edit XT1 files so I wanted to test this out so I went down to the park here for a little bit today and took a couple pictures um, probably not that good but we'll see um, so here let me put this card in and uh, we'll walk through this okay so here it is let me open it up go here Okay, so here's all my uh, .ref files that Photoshop will not read yet. But what I should be able to do is select them here. And then I'm going to go ahead and hit open with Photoshop. And it should pull them all up here in Adobe Camera Raw in just a second. I'm running on a... Uh, over three-year-old iMac so it's a little bit slow here but we'll give it a second I've tried this once before and it actually works really well I'm excited to show you guys um, the 05 film pack I believe they're calling their archetype collection it's all like classic uh, consumer films um, which are really great my favorite is the Kodak gold I'll show you guys that here in a minute but just really kind of brings back that feeling of a you know, the old family pictures and stuff, because it's the film that my family would have used. Alright, here, so let's uh, skip some of these. Go down. These are ones I took last night, so I'm going to skip those. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to come down here and I'm going to select all these. Now what you'd normally do is if you wanted to edit, you would make your edits here and then just open in Photoshop. But what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to hit Save Images right here. And you just want to make sure that uh, this is select to format uh, to digital negative here, which is going to be your DNG file and your camera raw 7.1 or later. I'm just going to save them to my desktop just because that's easy to find. And uh, anyways, when I import them to Lightroom, it'll move them into my library anyways. So yeah, we're going to save it as a DNG file and, and Lightroom can accept DNG files. So we're taking these raw files that Lightroom doesn't take and converting them to DNG, which it will. Um, it works pretty good. Now, DNG files are not quite as versatile as RAW files are. I don't think they claim they are, but uh, I don't seem, I don't think there's as much, especially flexibility and exposure and stuff like that, as uh, as a RAW file is. But in the meantime, it works pretty good. Okay, well I went ahead and sped that up a little bit. The process of uh, converting the files to DNG actually takes a little bit. Um, so while that was happening, I went ahead and opened Lightroom so that it was ready for the uh, the import here. And you can see the last one finished, so we're just going to hit uh, Done. And we should be done here, so I'll go ahead and minimize Photoshop. Okay, uh, right over here, so here we are in Lightroom. <laughs> These are some pictures I was messing around with last night. Um, anyway, so let's go ahead and hit import over here. And then let's hit, uh, we want to go to our desktop because that's where we save these files. Um, so, there we are. So here they are. I'm going to go ahead and these are some other random things on my desktop that I don't want to import. But here's all our uh, DNG files here, so. Go ahead and import those. So 
So here they come. So I took um, quite a few more pictures than I'll actually edit. So I'll probably go through here and uh, cull some of these out real fast. All right, so I just went through and picked a few of the better ones here. Um, I also straightened a couple of them just because I don't really like crooked pictures at all. They drive me nuts, but I know that you don't necessarily need to see that. So, um, yeah, so here we are in Lightroom with our D and G files here. This was this morning. It was actually pretty cold. Um, not a great picture, but it's kind of a fun one to play with here. Um, so, and here's our ViscoFilm 05 uh, presets, and I'm going to go with one of my favorites here, Kodak Gold 100. And you can see it makes a pretty big difference. It looks pretty nice. Um very similar I think to what they wanted these presets to look like uh, here's another picture let's try this one and that one actually makes it a tad warm um, so we could either uh, just one of the presets here but I think it's actually my white balance is just a little bit warm here so let me let me cool it up a little bit it's a little bit better um, and it's pretty cool there's all these like alternative versions and you know more uh, more processed versions um, let's try a couple other pictures here. So you can see it does a pretty good job. And there's pretty, here, let me adjust the exposure a little bit. So you can see there's a pretty good amount of uh, latitude here, almost like a real raw, raw file. And it might actually be exactly the same, and I, it might just be me, but it's pretty good. You have quite a bit of control. These little ducks, these pictures are kind of silly. I just went out to take some specifically for this here. Let's try the Kodak Gold 200. That looks nice. So yeah, so that's it pretty much. Um, just kind of want to show you guys that it's possible right now to use uh, Visco Film and and edit uh, in Lightroom uh, with your Fuji XT1. Now this, like I said, this post is probably going to be completely obsolete in um, you know probably just a week or so as soon as Lightroom comes out with the new version with support for the XT1. Um, then this post won't mean anything, but uh, for now, it's something to play around with. I hope that was helpful, and uh, if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments below. Feel free to check out my site at nathangilmer.com, brand new site actually, and, uh, and would love to connect with you. Yep, have a great day.